Good morning, everyone. How you doing today? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to, to you all, okay? I hope you guys are having your coffee, you know, getting your morning together, getting started to relax and everything. I'm so happy you guys are back to join me today. I am Pat, the Queen of Wands. We're shaking. We're shaking, everybody. Okay? So I just want to thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for liking and sharing and subscribing to the channel, guys. I really appreciate you. Okay? So I'm here to give you guys some Valentine's Day messages, some updates and everything. I got a couple of videos I want to put out today. And I just want to share some energy with you guys. And towards the end of this video, at the end, I will um, share some personal information with you guys. Okay? So also, that's happening in my life or happened in my life. Okay? Um, what I, the messages that I have for you guys is, um, you guys could be actually, some of you guys actually have a Valentine's day date. All right. You have a date. You guys could be going out to breakfast. You guys could be going out to lunch or dinner. All right. Some of you divine films, of course, the masculine have something going on. You guys know that. Okay. And, um, it's some bed and breakfast type of energy here. Okay. But also. I hear a message from little mama. She said, leave that trash alone. You know he ain't nothing but a whore. All right. So that's what she's talking. And that's exactly how she sound. Leave that trash alone. He ain't nothing but a whore. Okay. That's her southern voice. All right. She's down. She was down here in Georgia, lived in Georgia all her life. And that was a message from her. Okay. She said, this person is a drunken devil. A drunken devil. All right. And he is on a leash to a bitch who has him tied up. All right. Through black magic. So please be aware of that. Okay. Then I hear this song, Biggie Smalls. Um, he got a different girl of the day of the week. It's cool. Not trying to put a rush on you, but I had to let you know I have a crush on you. All right. So somebody definitely have a crush on you. This person could be a player. Okay. But they, they have multiple women, but they just have a crush on you. Okay. And I keep hearing, um, you know, Snoop Dogg song, sexual seduction. All right. So it's definitely that trickster. Okay. And Divine is saying that Divine Femme, if you guys plan on having any sexual intercourse for Valentine's Day, if it's someone new, make sure you wear a condom, okay? Because um, it's a lot of fertility, pregnancy, okay? Yep, I said pregnancy. You could get pregnant, okay? And then if you plan on sleeping with your Divine Masculine, make sure you see some STD results, Okay? You need some results, okay, before you sleep with that masculine energy again, okay? That's what they're saying here. So for Valentine's Day, here's the tacky-ass energy for those who give a fuck about what the masculine is doing for Valentine's Day, okay? He's still out being a player, all right? But this player, he reconciled, okay? He went reconciled again with another karmic or the same karmic. That he keep running back and forth to. All right. So he reconciled with them again. Okay. Holy Spirit said it's Medusa. He reconciled with Medusa. The black magic bitch. Okay. Who could be a cancer. Okay. Who could be an Aquarius. All right. He fell for the tricks again. All right. He fell for her bullshit. Okay. And divine said it's. It's a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. And we do see Cancer here, okay? So they fell for the bullshit, and as you see, there's the moon, okay? The next energy is they could have went on a retreat with this person for Valentine's Day, all right? And look, it's all sexual. This person seduced them, all right? They have all this kinky sex. Because what? She put them under a spell again. So this is under my spell. This is that sexual entity, that sexual tie I told you guys about that the masculine energy fell for again. 
just fell for again. It's really sorry. And um, Divine is not covering this energy anymore. They basically signed a deal with the devil. And that's what they chose. So that's what they're going to be stuck in. Okay? Look at this. The next card here is Seduction and Temptation. This is what they chose for Valentine's Day. And that karmic really made it sound good. Really did it up for them. And they fell for it. Okay? They fell for it. And the sad thing about it is, everybody know that this person is toxic. And they're gossiping and talking about the masculine for getting caught up with this person again. All right? This is like, he's stupid. That's what I hear. Okay? Low IQ. Because it's all about fucking and sex. Intimacy. This is all they wanted. Okay? And this is, they deceived themselves again. They was acting fake again. And Divine said, that's a fact. Okay? They deceived themselves again. Okay? Because they're here in this energy, guys. Look, the fucking devil. Here's the devil. So they're dealing with their addictions. They're dealing with sex, sex, and lust. And they keep going back to this person who has them sexually tied to their pussy. All right? It's that sexual entity. That tie. All right? And every time they go and be with this person, that tie gets stronger and stronger. And now all this bitch really got to do is just ring a bell and they dumbass come running. All right? Because that's how weak they are. And they manifested this. And that's what they got. All right? Some devilish, diseased-ass pussy. Okay? Mm-hmm. It could be with a possible crackhead bitch or a bitch who overdo drugs. Okay? Divine timing. All this shit is going to hit the fan. In divine timing. Okay? Because they keep reconciling with karmic love. They don't know their worth, they value, they resist, you know, growing better. They resist doing the shadow work, all right? They resist this, and they went back with a karmic love, and they reconciled with that energy again. And this person played right into their hands because this person was doing tarot, I mean, watching tarot videos, possibly doing whatever kind of wicked tarot, you know, they were doing. And this conscious person told this person, oh, he's trying to connect with her for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to do this. So this karmic wanted to make sure that the masculine energy did not connect with you, divine film, for Valentine's Day. Okay? So they read tarot videos. They watched them and did everything to find out what the masculine's energy was. The next card right here is they stalked him. They stalked him to find out what his plans was for Valentine's Day. And some of these masculines had planned on connecting with you, Divine Femme. So they put a spell on the masculine. All right? A sexual spell again. And they fell for it. So how weak is that, guys? Okay? So let's find out why Divine is saying devil is here. The devil is here. Oh, because we did see Medusa. Okay? The snake bitch, all right, because they hard up, they don't have no transportation, all right? This person um, might have the vehicle. They could be with this person for a vehicle, all right? They probably had to come and pick them up. The masculine didn't want to be stuck in the house. Holy Spirit, why is the devil here? Give us the energy about why is the devil here for Valentine's Day. Why is the devil here for Valentine's Day? Please let us know. Why are you here? Thank you, Holy Spirit, because this motherfucker's stupid. Did I just say that? They stupid. That's why the devil is here. They just stuck in low IQ energy. Damn. The same shit on a different day. All right? They just fucking stupid. Thank you, Holy Spirit. They just keep going back to the toxic at, um, apple. Divine said it's all in divine timing. I got this stupid motherfucker. I got him. Don't worry about it, y'all. Okay? All right, so this here's one because <laughs> they jealous or they upset because they keep going. It's in reverse. It came out in reverse, but they know that this is played out and they think it's not. Whatever they got with this karmic is well overplayed out, but they think it's not because they keep trying to go to that and work it out because they're too weak to face what they have going on with you, Divine Fem. Okay. All right, this could be somebody that they got kids with. So they don't want this person to take them to court or something like that. So they could have reconnected with a baby's mama. 
All right. This person could be threatening them. All right. So they moving. They could be moving back in with this person because they reconciled with the baby's mama. And devil toxic energy. Still living in a low vibe energy. So make sure if this person come back around you guys, that y'all be aware of the energy that they're in and it's the devil. Okay. Oh, because this person give them money. Okay. But also they're trying to be up in your business. This is the scoop. They want to be up in your business. They was too scared to connect with you. So, hey, they went back with this karmic who offered, oh, come and live here. Come and move in with me. Oh, come in. I'll give you some money. I'll give you what you need. So that's where they went to. Okay. All right. The person who purchased them, the one who doing all this magic spells to keep them. Okay. And they just falling right into her spell work right into her hands, but divine is no longer protecting this, this energies anymore. Okay. They on their own. All right. Thank you. Holy spirit. Cause divine said, I'm tired of this same shit on a different day. Divine is even tired of this same shit on a different day. What I just said, thank you. Holy spirit. Cause you tired of that shit. Marrying for money. All right. They could be in a marriage due to money and just keep reconciling with that person because they need money. You know, they've been broke as fuck and they had to empty wallet. Okay. They traveled away. I told you guys, they traveled away possibly with this karmic because they ain't shit and they traveled away with an ain't shit bitch. Okay. This, they just so weak and you know, divine is even tired of this shit. You just ain't shit. Just face it. All right. Then what did my grandma just say? Leave that trash alone. He ain't nothing but a whore. The same shit on a different day. All right. And that's what they deal with. Whores and trash. All right. This person do not want to deal with their addictions. This person do not want to deal with their inner childhood wounds. They don't want to do the shadow work. This is the energy that they choose to stay in. And it's the devil. They just go from one place to the next place to the next place. They're so fucking damaged. It's ridiculous. All they do is piss people off, piss you off, trigger you. They don't even know themselves. They fake as fuck. They set up fake accounts, the karmic do, to watch you guys, to see what's going on. You know, they just together for convenience. This masculine is so weak because he codependent and he can't take care of himself, dealing with sexual addictions and all kind of financial problems. So they go and deal with a bitch who's going to tolerate their broke ass. You know, they, they lusty ass. Okay, let's be real here. Uh-huh, with habits and addictions. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Habits and addictions here, and they dodge bullets. They dodge reality, okay? So they go be with someone who don't live in reality in a fantasy world just like them. They fake here. All right, y'all need this shit for Valentine's Day. Thank you. They like attention. This is an attention whore. Always got something to say, you know, always seductive. Okay, this is who they see as a jackpot. So they went back to some body who give them money. Okay, because they have an ego problem. They're weak minded here. Okay, and they're coward. But yet they crying over you. They still want to be with you for Valentine's Day. But due to their circumstances and their insecurities, they had to choose another direction. Okay, but now they're crying over you. All right. So let's see why they crying over you. Let's see why. Well, divine said, because for one, you realize that they ain't shit. Okay. You realize that for two, you realize that they still stuck in addictions. Okay. For three, you realize that it's always the same shit on a different day. So let's find out what else, Holy Spirit, of why they're crying over you. Because they try to act like somebody they're not. All right. And they feel like they can kill you with just sex and that you'll be all addicted back onto them. Okay. Why, Holy Spirit? All right. Because also now they got themselves in a situation to where they're being threatened because they choose to be fake and wear a mask. Okay, they're being threatened by this karmic possibly or one karmic and they could be hiding out with another. Okay, they are so curious about what you got going on for Valentine's Day. All right, 
But, you know, hey, you got your own plans, right? You're under a spell, you know? And it's like after the sex was gone or after they did all the sex things that they was going to do, they went right back to thinking about you, Divine Femme. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Damn. They went right back into thinking about you. Okay? So that's what they're doing here for Valentine's Day. And Divine said that's why they're crying over you. They out with this person, but damn, they realize they have lost you altogether because they let some black magic bitch put a spell on you, cock block you, okay, from being with this masculine energy for those who give a fuck, all right? And now they're just sitting back reflecting on you, all right? They realize that, you know, you block them from fucking you as well. You don't even want to fuck them no more. You feel like they toxic. All right, you feel like they're in trouble. They're getting threatened, blackmailed. Why are they crying over divine film? Thank you, because all they're going to have is they head in the clouds over you and they worrying and wondering about who you fucking on Valentine's Day today. Okay? All right, this is what they're worrying about. All right, they want, they thinking, are you lonely? Are you going to be lonely on Valentine's Day? Hmm, they really thinking about what you're doing. Well, some of them could be in jail thinking about what you're doing, okay? Some of them could be in jail also, okay? And some of them could be just ignoring you and everybody all together. Because really, they know that you're ignoring them, all right? You're ignoring them. You don't even want to talk to them, okay? You said talk to the impersonator copycat bitch, all right? Talk to that bitch, all right? But now, they're trying to ignore her. They don't want to talk to her now. Okay? This bitch could have had them locked up as well. Something could have had went down. Okay? So all these cards is here. They stress because they know you're not interested in them anymore. But now, they're not interested in a karmic. Okay? These are different energies here. All right? Because there's definitely a karmic out here who putting people under spells for sex to make sure that you guys are not connecting for Valentine's Day. Okay, but they stress because you're not interested in their ass anymore because you're tired of dealing with competition. Okay, you're tired of dealing with that shit. All right, now they want to look you up and talk to you. They could be um, going through their phone trying to find old pictures. And this is definitely what the karmic could have done. Okay, they could have did this to the karmic that they're uninterested in. Okay, but this is their karma. This karmic could have had, had their ass locked up, all right? They could have found some stuff on the masculine's phone about you, Divine Femme. They could have found some text messages about you. And Divine saying this is their karma. It could have been an altercation here. This is their karma, okay? Catching a sexually transmitted disease. Bringing that home to the karmic. That's their karma, all right? Always talking shit. Always got something to say. You know, this person could be gossiping about them and a sexually transmitted disease. All right. You see right through this shit, divine film. And that's why you stay in your lane. You see right through this karmic energy. You see right through this lying masculine energy that keeps going back and forth and trying to play you like a fool. You see right through this person. And that's what divine gave you empathic abilities for. Okay. And now they all in their head because they realize they made the wrong choice. They realize how much they hurt you, that they can't even be there for you for holidays because they always caught up with other karmics and divine said who they with today is not even who they spent the holidays with. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Yes. That they, it's not even who they spent the holidays with. So it's like so much inconsistencies with this person. And that's why divine blocked this person out of your life. That's why they're blocked out of your life. Divine film. All right, because divine is even fed up with the same shit on a different day with this toxic individual. All right, with a badass reputation as a player. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why don't you tell us why he got a bad reputation, Holy Spirit? All right, because you guys think so as well. You the queen rising and you think this person has a badass reputation. Divine said because this person ain't shit but a wolf in sheep's clothing. That's why they got a bad reputation. They fake, they lie. They act like they got their shit together. They don't. They are hustler and they use people. And they have multiple children that half of everybody don't even know about. Okay? 
Damn. They saying reject this motherfucker. Y'all deserve better than that shit. Holy Spirit, tell us about this bad reputation. This bad reputation. In divine timing, you guys will find out about this person and their badass reputation. Okay? You will find out that how stupid they really fucking are. You will find out, Divine is saying, how stupid this person is and how stupid of the low vibe people low vibing people that they deal with are. Okay? You will find out about this spiritual hater who's been doing all this black magic. All of this will come to light. It will be revealed to you. Okay? Just make sure you keep ghosting this motherfucker. Okay? Mm. And everything will come to light in divine timing and you are protected. Whoa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That was your answer. Okay? Here's one more. Because right now, get out your head. This is a... Um, this is nothing to think about if you want to be involved with somebody who lived this lifestyle. All right. Romance is, it's better romance out there, they saying. Okay. And they don't have a car. All right. And that's why they in another situation or a karmic situation due to a car. They don't have a car and they could be with this karmic strictly for the transportation. All right, Holy Spirit. So why don't you tell us about this sexual seduction? See, seduction and temptation. Tell us, everybody's gossiping about this situation. What's going on here? This is the one who's obsessive and following the person. Tell us about this seduction, Holy Spirit, for this reading, for this masculine. What is this seduction that's happening here? Right? So they want to get away. They ran away. This is somebody who probably came and seduced them, put her entity on them, and then ran away. Okay? And this person is jealous because she wanted to make sure that um, she feel like she lost her masculine to you. And now she is no longer an option. Okay? Now, this could go both ways that she wants you to go away. She don't want you to be an option for this masculine anymore. Okay? But she's getting pissed. Okay? And she wants this masculine to leave you alone and to break your heart. And she wants you to go away because she feel like she can keep this masculine due to her sexual energy. Okay. That sexual tie guys. Okay. Look at the fucking, you know, this was the back of the card. This is the front of all her cards. This is the front. And I'll say, let me use this. And then the fucking card is actually that her sexual seduction, keeping men tied to her. Coochie is what this person is here for. Okay. What this person is here for, okay? I'm telling you, it's some blood entity here, but I don't even want to go that nasty, okay? And this is her to make sure that this masculine energy do not come to you. His divine femme, the one that he loves. So he's caught up in this sexual seduction, all right? This is what he's caught up in. <laughs> and it's amazing how, like I said, the back of her cards is this, Miss Sandra Brown. But then, this was the actual card. Sexual seduction at the masculine is caught up in again from the karmic for Valentine's Day, y'all. He got a date with the devil. She always runs and apologizes. And I'm so sorry. Come back to me. We can work this out. And he fell for it again. All right? It could be a blonde-haired karmic. Only take what resonates with you. Okay? And this is... Um, you know, you allow me to take advantage of you. And this is how she feels that she can take advantage of the masculine because he's so weak to her coochie. Okay. He's so weak to it. All right. And this karmic, all she does is cheat on him. And he's so weak. He just keep going back because she have a sexual entity tie on this person. All right. Like this energy right here is saying, you know, he's under her spell. So let's see why this person is under her spell because, you know, she's all seductive. Why is the masculine under this spell? Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. Because they have all this hot sex, leg shaking, orgasms and everything like that. All right. You know, hmm, all right. All this stuff, you know, handcuffs, fishnet stockings, high heels. She used all this stuff to uh, arouse the masculine energy. 
you know, tell him everything that she's doing here. And she just loves screwing him all the time. She's obsessed with screwing this person. Okay. And they are obsessed too, but it has everything to do with the love tie. All right. And this is match me FaceTime or in person. All right. So they like jacking off and playing around on FaceTime, doing stuff like this. The sexual, you know, jacking off for each other right on FaceTime or on some type of visual face where they can see each other. All right. It could be somebody also at work. It could be somebody on a desk or a tabletop that they can screw this person anywhere all the time. She's ready to get down, y'all. All right. So this is the rated R portion of the video. All right. And this is a hungry beast because he's thirsty and he's hungry and he like to fuck everybody. All right, just thirsty. Whoever's willing to give it to him, he's going to take it, you know? This is the energy I'm picking up here. Deep like the ocean, you know, a doggy style. All right? So this is what he'd be doing with the karmic, all right? And this is, you know, get you by surprise. He can just walk up on her and get her. She all down for it and she let him. Everything is sexual with these two, but there's nothing else here, okay? It's all sexual. All right, look at this hot, steamy shower sex. All right, this is a hot, steamy deck by Fire Witch Tarot. Okay, so that's what they like about the karmic so much. Okay, so they reconcile with this person because this is a karmic love. Okay, so let's see why specifically they reconcile with this person because they can control this person, their mind. All right. This person could have told them that they was the twin flame, their twin flame. Yep, she told them, I'm your twin flame. And they jealous as fuck. This person is very jealous. And there's that snake, bitch. Okay? So she definitely worked her magic and played on the masculine energy here for Valentine's Day. Holy Spirit, give me some more energy on this karmic love, this reconciliation here. He's just under pressure. He didn't know which way to go, but his mind was clouded. So he chose the karmic. That was his best option. And um, <laughs> um, Divine said, because some of them needed a place to stay too. All right. And they could stay at the hotel. Okay. Because he had a child with this person. He was under pressure. So he could have children with this person. All right. And this is also could be a person that you don't know anything about that he have children with. But this is who he reconciled with. Holy Spirit, what's going on with this karmic love? It was a baby mama, all right? It's a tough beginning with this person. They having a lot of issues and problems right now, but they willing to try to work this out again, okay? Because due to her spell that she put on this person, because she telling this person that they have a soul contract to feel. It could be a karmic soul contract, though. But she's definitely feeding I'm your twin flame into this person. All right. It's threes a crowd. It's another um, person in this um, connection here, which is you, Divine Femme. Your love story. Okay. Your love story is here, but it's threes a crowd here. And this person realized that you guys have true love. Okay. But they so damn fake about it and they don't want to recognize it. You know, they acting like everything's good while they with this karmic partner for Valentine's Day. Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know here? They think this person is their soulmate. All right? They love fucking this person and having sex with this person. All right? But it's so much inner conflict wounds within this after they finish fucking this person. Okay? Because they still feel empty. They feel empty without you in their life. They feel inner conflict being in this relationship with this person because they don't feel like it's authentic. Thank you, Holy Spirit, and it's unrequited love. But this is what they keep going back to. Okay? This person cheats on them, lie, and do what they want to do. And all they do is slow them down from getting ahead. Even their car don't work no more. Okay? They could be stuck in the snow. They just slow down their life dealing with an unrequited love situation that they choose to stay in. Okay, and keep going back and forth too. There's no love there while you move on, Divine Femme. 
to a beautiful soulmate who's just compatible as you are for each other. Okay? And they reject you. All right? So they stay in this unrequited love situation and they reject you, Divine Fam. Okay? But then once they feel like you're leaving, they want to come in here and rush in and see what you have going on. Which what is what they might try to do for Valentine's Day. Okay? So just be aware of that energy that they could have even fucked this karmic last night or whatever. You know, just be aware of some of this energy. All right. Thank you, Holy Spirit, before they come in here and try to make a love offer. Just be aware. Be aware, okay? They might come in here and tell you that they rejected the other person, all right? And they chose you. Oh, you're so fucking special after they rejected you 10 other fucking times, okay? They're so damn special. After they rejected you and sent you through hell, now all of a sudden you're deprived for Valentine's Day after they could have fucked someone else last night. So just be aware of that type of energy here, okay? 91, reveal how they feel. Only because something else didn't work out for them conveniently, okay? A baby mama, all right? So now they're saying they're in love here. They feel like you're the one. You're so amazing, and they keep holding on to you, okay? They keep holding on to you. They don't want to let you go, all right? But they damaged as fuck, and this is all they do is damage you, okay? So let's be real. And they jealous as fuck, and so is the other bitch. So don't let them put you back in a third party for Valentine's Day, running their bullshit on you, but they hoping for a miracle. They hoping that they can, but just realize that they still holding on to this karmic energy. They still holding on to that, okay? Is there any more messages that we need to know? Okay. Let's get over here and clarify this stalking energy here. All right. And they also could be dealing with a dancer, a stripper. Okay. So just be aware of that. All right. That they could be romancing. Let's clarify stalker, Holy Spirit. Why is the stalker here? Let's get some clarity on this stalker person. We are curious about this stalker. Who is this person? It says it's the Kermit. I told you guys. All right. And it's also your lover, lover. All right. This is your masculine energy. He could be stalking you guys, trying to see what you guys are doing for Valentine's Day. Okay? He want to, like, fight for you damn near. So if he see you guys with somebody, he might turn into this rubble, that king of swords, you know, and want to fight. Knight of swords, the narcissist. Just want to fight. Be jealous. All right? They can't stand rejection, but they can sure kick it out, though. Okay? Didn't I say that Knight of Swords? Thank you, Holy Spirit. The fucking Knight of Swords, the narcissist. All right? Turn into that energy here. All right? Turn into that. All right? And sabotage this. Okay? Because they're under a spell and they're still fucking around with a Gemini that's two-faced it and keep playing mind fuckery with them. So now they want to come and play mind fuckery with you. Okay? And keep, you know, after they've been sabotaged and everything... You know, I don't know if they teaming up together and playing mind fuckery with you. Okay? Just be aware that this uh, Gemini, all right, only take what resonates with you. If you're not a bitch out here doing wrong, that's a Gemini. Just do not apply to you. Okay? Only take what resonates with you. I don't know if this Gemini knows or they're trying to play mind fuckery with you guys to make this narcissist come back here. Is this Gemini or this other person giving them okay to come and fuck with you? Yep, to come and be fucking Don Juan. To fuck with you, too. And they know it and they good with it. Come on, that shit sounds so toxic. All right, look at this. Trying to romance you. Yes, this narcissist could possibly be coming back in here for Valentine's Day to try to romance you. Okay, I just made a video about the fucking trickster. That's what this shit sound like. The trickster. And it sound like both of them trying to be a trickster. Fucking around with you. Okay, it's an earth sign here, all right? But this could be your free spirit energy, just loving earth energy and grounding yourself here for Valentine's Day, all right? All right, so you guys are dealing with a performer. This is definitely, it could be a star, it could be a performer, a singer, or whatever talent they have, but this is also a fake motherfucker, all right? A fake motherfucker. That could be an earth sign, all right? But it also could be a Leo, 
a fake ass Leo, a male energy. For Valentine's Day, they putting on a performance if they come to you with some bullshit, possibly. Okay? This is a traveler. So they traveling around for Valentine's Day to see everybody. Okay? They probably got a truckload of flowers and candy. Okay? They're a traveler. Okay? And they're definitely dealing with an air sign here. This is air energy. All right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They pointed out specifically a Gemini. Okay? All right? You're a goddess. You're the goddess. Okay? So they want to travel over to see you. Okay? They want to travel over to see their goddess. A possible air sign. Look at that, y'all. It's cool. Not trying to put a rush on you, but I had to let you know that I got a crush on you. I told you guys somebody had a crush on you. They got a crush on a goddess. That could be you, Divine Femme. Okay? But just be careful because this person is a loner and they could be wanted by law. They could be wanted by crooked people. They could be like a gangster type of energy here. And they want it. This is somebody that might be caught up in some bullshit and somebody could be out to, you know, kill their ass damn near. This person could be dodging bullets. So make sure that you um aware of your surroundings and who you're dealing with. Okay? Don't be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's what Divine is saying. All right. So somebody definitely need to sage their energy. Sage. So it's like whenever this person come around, you need to sage. They bring in toxic ass energy. Toxic ass energy. So sage when this person come in. Okay. Because they see you as beautiful. They kill your fucking beauty as well. They drag your energy down. Okay. They don't know how to communicate properly or they do it in some tricky ass mind fucking way. Okay. So just be aware of that they're going to act like they that CEO who got their shit together. So just be aware, okay? And the other energy I got is when you sage and cleanse from this other motherfucker, all right, you might meet a CEO. You might meet a business owner, okay, who finds you fucking beautiful, okay, and who really know how to talk to you, who really know how to communicate with you, all right? With this beautiful wildflower that you are. All right, Divine Fam? Looking all pure and everything today. All right, so this is what I have for you guys for Valentine's Day love. All right, so just be careful that you don't have a date with the devil. Okay? So that's my video. So what I want to share with you guys is um, make sure that you guys spend time with your loved ones. Okay? Make sure that you make time for the people that you love. All right. So last week, maybe Thursday or whatever, I posted a um, saying on the community board about auntie. I thought that was cute because a lot of you guys call me auntie. OK, but I get it and I accept that. But however, I miscommunicated that message from divine. OK, I miscommunicated that message. And on that same day, I lost my auntie. Okay? I lost little mama's daughter, which was Linnell. And that was my auntie. Okay? I had a history with her. We had a, She helped me with a lot of things, you know, been there with me with my children and, and helped me with a lot of stuff. She was a mom auntie. Okay? And I just want to share this with y'all. <laughs> All right? This right here is little mama. This right here is Linnell. This is my auntie. And she passed on the day that I posted that message. I missed that message because Divine was telling me to check on my auntie. Okay? And this is my mom. And this is the only matriarch left from the three of these. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I was going to get down. I was hurt. But little mama said, no, you get back to your desk. And you keep spreading that word. And I'll keep talking to you. Because in that treasure chest reading, when I said that there was a guardian angel, 
a newly guardian angel that was gifted to you. That hurt because that's what I got to my auntie. This is my new guardian angel. And I just want to share that with you guys. And thank you for the strength to keep me going through your comments that I didn't shut down and, and just break down and, and leave things alone like I would have normally done. But that's all a part of healing and having faith in divine to carry you through these problems when stuff like this happened. To have that strength and believe that she's in a better place now and that she is now one of your guardian angels and another ancestor that's right on my team and that's protecting me. So I just want to share that with you guys and say thank you for your support and your love to keep me strong to go through losing my auntie. Bye-bye.